So welcome back guys to the 5 solo high round strategy series and we're moving into round 26 here and uh, just the usual strategy that you will have seen in the previous videos but uh, the difference being we're at a higher uh, round where the zombies are much faster and harder to kill. So when it comes to shooting your way out of the uh, pack-a-punch room just be aware that your weapons are going to have less and less effect the higher the rounds you get. So eventually you're probably not going to be able to clear out the opening area in the very high rounds. And when that happens, uh, at least the first time or two that that happens, you'll want to take the exit out the back, uh, which is the uh, teleporter. So that'll either take you to the laboratory area, and I get a max ammo here, so I'm just going to throw out my uh, monkey bombs, use them up. And grab the max ammo here. Now as I was saying, when you do take that exit out the back of the pack punch room through the teleporter, you'll either end up in the laboratory area or in the starting area. So just be ready for that and have the elevators called within the laboratory and uh, within the starting area ready for you to run into them to make an escape. Now, once it starts getting difficult to shoot your way out of the pack punch room, you're probably best starting each round just down uh, in the war room itself and uh, just starting your run as the zombies spawn in. And as we did before, I'm just shooting the uh, the zombies that group up around the monkey bomb to try and clear them out a little bit quicker and keep the rounds moving fast. And this map, uh, the Winter's Howl, uh, was introduced for the very first time. And in this map, it is quite effective if you use it uh, the way that I've been showing you. In uh, other maps where it features, and I think there's only Deluxe to date uh, where it does feature, uh, they put it in the old World at War map, the Black Ops version of it. It's not really very useful in that map, so I would probably avoid it in Varrocked. In this map, however, it is quite useful, uh, especially for uh, getting out of the pack punch room. Now I'd be interested uh, to know what your favourite wonder weapon is. Is it uh, the DG2, the Wonder Waffer? Is it the DG3, the Thunder Gun? Is it, uh, you know, is it just the Ray Gun? The classic Ray Gun? Or uh, is it uh, Winter's Howl? Is it the Scavenger? And uh, God knows what else we'll get in Shangri-La. So let me know in the comments, uh, what's your favourite wonder weapon? Personally, I would say in terms of uh, devastation and usefulness, uh, the Thunder Gun really can't be beat. There's uh, no way you can make it better than it is, really. Uh, it's a one-hit kill at any level, uh, provided the, the, the zombies are at close range. That's the one thing you could improve with it, with it is the range of it. And uh, that's, that's the only minimal limitation to that weapon. So it is hugely overpowered but overpowered is good in zombies. Probably second to that I would have to say the scavenger. Uh, the scavenger is an awesome weapon and uh, yes it is a sniper and there is no way you can really snipe on any of the zombies maps. I don't care what Treyarch tell you. Uh, Call of Duty was supposed to be a sniping map. Well they said the same thing about Nocturne and Totem, can you believe it? And uh, while well, you can snipe you know, the remaining couple of crawlers there's no way you're going to sit anywhere stationary for long enough to be sniping in any of the zombies maps through a regular round. But uh, the scavenger uh, is a one hit kill up to round 34 in Call of the Dead. And uh, after that, uh, you know, it loses its power gradually. But it is still uh, still an incredible weapon. And every t Just about every time I use it, uh, at least early on, I couldn't help laughing at at the kind of devastation that it does, it just vaporizes the zombies in a cloud of pink mist, basically. Uh, which is pretty sweet. So I do like that weapon. Uh, 
Um, otherwise, the Wonder Waffer obviously is a classic. And uh, it's a great weapon in Doris, especially Packer Punched. Uh, but it doesn't kill. Uh, you know, it doesn't kill the whole swarm of zombies all at once in the way that the uh, Thunder Gun does. Now, I haven't even mentioned the VR-11. To me, that's not an offensive weapon at all. It's uh, Sure, it is a wonder weapon, but to me, it's not an offensive weapon. You can't really kill zombies with it, and uh, it's pretty useless for anything but the... Uh, but the mystery... Um, the Easter egg, I should say, that uh, you use it for. I mean, it has a few little things that it can do, but it's not worth calling a wonder weapon almost. I think that was uh, a bizarre inclusion in uh, Call of the Dead. But, I mean, they introduced the hyena, uh, the uh, scavenger, which becomes the hyena when you pack a punch it, at least. Uh, and you're not going to have two major devastating weapons along with the ray gun in, in one map, I guess. So that's fair enough. The other thing in uh, these Black Ops Zombies maps that differs from the World of War maps is uh, the weaponry that you get in the mystery box. The old World of War map had uh, the World of War weapons in it obviously, so you had things like the Browning and uh, so forth, those heavy machine guns that had a lot of ammo, and you had things like the uh, flamethrower as well. Now I really miss those heavy machine guns in this. Uh, in the Black Ops Zombies maps. To me, they should have included at least one of those uh, in the mystery box. It's uh, kind of annoying that the weapon with the most ammo is the RPK. Because uh, it's not that good a weapon. And, uh, and I miss the old Browning. Now, I, I kind of understand why they didn't include stuff like uh, the flamethrower because if you get people finding a glitch where they can sit on top of a cabinet like they had in this for a while or behind a barrier where the zombies can't touch them people would just sit there with a the flamethrower which never runs out of ammo and uh, basically uh, cheat their way up the lobby boards uh, the lobby leaderboards so I do kind of understand why they removed that from the game uh, you know, although they could have had an underbarrel attachment to, in one of the pack punch weapons, uh, similar to in the uh, multiplayer game where the flamethrower has limited ammo capacity, that would have been pretty cool. Uh, I mean, you get the master key, so why not the flamethrower? That would have been much more fun in zombies. Anyway, you know, if, if Treyarch bring out a standalone zombies game, or if they uh, introduce zombies mode in a future Call of the Dead, uh, then hopefully we'll have some new weapons to use and hopefully they'll introduce some heavy machine guns in uh, later maps. Anyway, uh, the very final video in this series uh, will be coming shortly to be continued.